Hi guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be my May favourites. You know the drill by now. These are all the products that I have been loving over the past few weeks. So in this video I'm going to be talking about a few hair favourites and I've been getting quite a lot of questions about my hair, especially over on Instagram. And then as always there's going to be beauty favourites and fashion favourites. Without really meaning to, this beauty section has got quite a clean beauty theme to it. A lot of these products are natural or organic and I have to say I have been trying to move my beauty routine in that direction and so far I have been very impressed with the results. I would say this past month my skin has been the best it's been in pretty much ever um, and I have been using a lot of natural products. Some of the products I mentioned in last month's favourites video from a brand called Herbivore and then I'll share with you a few of the other pieces in today's video. So firstly I mentioned in a couple of vlogs that I've been having some quite uneven pigmentation on my forehead. This is something that I've always suffered from and it gets a lot worse when I have a natural tan because certain areas of my skin get a lot more tanned than other areas. I also used to have it on my chest but that seems to have gone as I've grown up but basically I've been using the Trilogy Certified Organic Rosehip Oil on my forehead. I've been popping a couple of drops of this into my hands and using it as face oil in the mornings and evenings. And to be honest, the pigmentation on my forehead seems to be pretty much gone now, which is great because it's summer, I'm going to be naturally picking up a bit of a tan, so fabulous that the pigmentation is no longer such a problem. This, I would say, is like the organic version of bio oil. Rosehip oil is really great at regenerating the skin, helping the skin heal itself, and it's also got lots of omegas and fatty acids in there, so it's very nourishing for the skin. So even if you don't have pigmentation, you just want to calm the skin, I would highly, highly recommend this. And you can pick up this and lots of other organic clean beauty products in Holland and Barrett, so very, very handy to get your hands on. <laughs> I've also been really conscious that I don't want to be putting a lot of chemicals on my lips because then you are ingesting loads of chemicals, so I've been looking for more natural lip balms. I have been using the Lano Lips 101 Ointment Multi Balm. This, as you can probably guess from the name, can be used for lots of different things. What I usually do is apply it's quite a thick balm. I apply it to my lips first and then anything that's left on my fingers I rub into my cuticles and if I do have dry elbows then I will also pop it there. So very multitasking and 100% natural. It's obviously super hydrating for the lips and I find that it's a really great lip balm to pop on before your lipstick, although because it's quite thick I would say the consistency is similar to a Carmex so you can really feel it on the lips for quite a long time. I do blot it off before applying my lipstick. So this morning for example I had this on my lips for about 20 minutes. I get up, I cleanse my skin, I pop my lip balm on, do all of my makeup, then I go and brush my teeth, blot off my lip balm and then put on the lipstick. So great for pre-lipstick lip prep as well. I'm going to be talking about my favourite body fake tan in a few moments but for my face I have been using this new one from Oskia. This is called their Adaptive Tan Mist. This is also 100% natural which is amazing. Again, no chemicals going on the face with this and it's called an Adaptive Tan Mist and it really does adapt to your specific skin tone so the tan is incredibly natural and it also gradually builds day after day. This has got white tea, it's got vitamins, it's got um, pea peptides, monk's pepper, loads of very nourishing ingredients so it's really good for the skin, helps the skin to maintain its radiance and its healthy glow while tanning as well. So this is something very new to my beauty routine but if, like me, you find that your face gets paler much quicker than your body, it's really easy to just mist on before you start your makeup routine. And then the last step in my makeup routine and my makeup has got a little bit lighter than previously because my skin's been so good I've been using a lot more tinted moisturizers of course Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue which you guys know that I absolutely adore. I've been a lot lighter on the products I've been putting on my face but what I have been loving as a final step has been this. I'm already on to bottle number two. This is the Rose Hibiscus Coconut Water Hydrating Face Mist from Herbivore. I mentioned Herbivore products loads in last month's favorites. Still using all the ones I mentioned there. The Pink Cloud Moisturizer, the Jasmine Tea Face Mist Toner and the Jade Roller. But this is a new addition to the routine and I use this as the very very last step when all my makeup is done and I just want a quick refresh and then I just spritz this all over the face. It is coconut water so very hydrating. You could spritz your face in the afternoon and the evenings especially on days like today when it's really warm. This is just the most refreshing lovely hydrating thing to do.
Also, if you have lash extensions like me, it does not contain any oil, so it's not going to dislodge your lashes. Moving on to body, the tan that I've been using to keep myself super bronzed since I've got back from our trips is, no surprises, the Beauty Liberata Phenomenal 2-3 Week Tan. I have been using this for oh my gosh, four or five years, I absolutely love it, and this makes me go the darkest. So I am now using the dark one. Any other time of year I use the medium one, but when I have a natural tan, and I applied this maybe a week ago, so this is like a week old dark tan, and I still think I'm super bronzed, and it looks super, super natural. Vita Liberata, again, is an organic brand, so it's not like so many fake tans where you are putting so many chemicals in your body. I did a video uh, I think probably about a year ago, which was my fake tan routine, and I do get asked a lot of questions about how I get my tan to look so natural. To be honest, my tanning routine hasn't actually changed that much, so I will leave that video linked down below. It's all my tips on how to do a flawless fake tan using the Beauty Liberata Phenomenal Tan. As you can guess by the name, it is super long lasting, two to three weeks. I would say that I usually reapply this on day seven or eight just to make myself super dark again, and this, of all the fake tans I've ever tried, makes me the darkest. So if you really want to go super super brown then give this a go. Alright moving on to hair, the first product that I use in my daily or every other day shower routine is this. Again I'm on to bottle number two, just repurchased this, it is the Tropic Clarifying Hair Wash. This is made naturally with aloe vera juice, babusa extract and coconut derived cleansers. It's called a clarifying hair wash and I would say it does exactly that. I got to a time maybe three weeks ago when my hair just felt so heavy, so full of product, I felt like I'd always not washed out my shampoo and conditioner properly and then I started using this and it's totally changed the way that my hair feels after shampooing and conditioning. Now it's just super light, I feel like it's just really bouncy, glossy, my hair feels healthy, it feels super super light, not fluffy and frizzy, just exactly how you want your hair to feel. So I've been really enjoying using this, it also smells absolutely amazing. I alternate my washes with the matching conditioner from this range with this new range from Redken. This is their new blonded range and I have this to thank for keeping my hair the colour and the tone that I want it to be. When I first had my hair coloured, I had the most beautiful highlights, but they started to go a little bit yellowy. So then I started to use the shampoo, that's this one, <laughs> and from the first use it absolutely revolutionised my hair colour. You know when you're straight out the hairdressers and they've toned it so fabulously, it looks really gorgeous, ashy, almost grey blonde, that's what I really really wanted, and that is exactly what this gives me. It's called a toning and strengthening system for blondes, and what makes this different from any other the toning shampoos and conditioners that I've used is that it actually really nourishes the hair as well as altering the colour. So I don't know about you but previously when I've used toning shampoos my hair has felt so dry and brittle afterwards. Not with this, it actually makes my hair feel nourished and I'm just so pleased with the condition and colour of my hair at the moment. The shampoo that I did last night was actually using the Tropic products so it's not as toned as it could be. If I have a photo shoot the next day I will use this the night before. I will insert some clips here of of my hair the day after I'd used this and you can see it's a really lovely almost grey ashy blonde and that is exactly the colour that I wanted. That was as a result of leaving this shampoo in my hair for a good three minutes while I exfoliated my body. Then I towel dried my hair and left the conditioner in for five minutes. So I really did go for it and give this the benefit of the doubt and I was so so pleased with the results. So highly highly recommend this. Sticking with the hair theme and I know I've definitely mentioned this in a favourites video before but while we're talking about hair I have to give another shout out to my Pureology Perfect for Platinum hair treatment. If you have got coloured hair like mine and you find it maybe hard to comb through or you want to speed up your blow dry time or you want to make sure that your hair doesn't go frizzy, you want to heat protect, this has so so many uses. Everything that I've listed and I think this has like 17 different benefits. It's called a miracle filler, fills gaps in porous fragile hair leaving high lifted or highlighted blondes soft and shiny again. So it has long term benefits as well as those short term benefits I mentioned previously. I will repurchase this for the rest of my life. It is probably the best product that I've ever discovered for my hair. So another one that I would highly, highly recommend if you have blonde coloured hair. It's also 100% vegan ingredients and it has anti-fade. So if you are spending a lot of money getting your hair coloured, this will also help protect your colour and make your blonde look fresh for even longer. So, so many benefits. Just 
cannot rave about this enough. <laughs> okay, last two beauty products. This is another one that I've been using in the shower and it's from Sanctuary Spa, Green Lemon and Orange Blossom Wet Skin Moisture Miracle. When I first used this, I actually used it wrong. I used it as like a body conditioner in the shower to shave with, but what you're actually meant to do is finish your shower completely, stand in your shower absolutely soaking wet and then apply this like a body lotion. So you rub it in exactly like you would a body lotion when your towel dried, but actually you're soaking wet, which means that your skin is still very absorbent can absorb all the moisturizing benefits from this then you step out the shower and towel dry as normal you don't have to apply a normal body lotion afterwards so it's really really great for if you're in a rush perhaps you might want to put this in your gym bag if you like to shower before work at the gym because then you don't have to stand around waiting for your body lotion to dry it's non-greasy it smells absolutely amazing it makes your morning routine a whole lot faster and it leaves your skin so so moisturized I also would say this is a great product to use if you are doing a cycle of fake tanning because it's so important to keep the skin hydrated but you don't want too many products sitting on the skin which could make your tan fade a bit faster. Final beauty product is the Body Mist from the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess range. I feel like it's at this time of year, every year, that I start to rediscover my love for Bronze Goddess. I think it is the ultimate summer fragrance and this year they've released a cooling body spray. So yes, it is cooling, it's very refreshing if you put it over your limbs on a hot day across your chest, so so lovely, but it has a very intense intense smell of bronze goddess. I actually would say that I have been preferring spritzing my whole body with this to using the fragrance. I find that it's just so quick and you can kind of cover more of your clothing and body with this instead of the perfume which is more direct in certain areas. And it's a great thing to add to your scent collection if you are already a fan of bronze goddess, which I most definitely am. All right, so we're going to now move on to some fashion favorites. I feel like this will not be a surprise if you've been watching my Instagram stories, my lookbooks, things like that. It is this beautiful beautiful dress from Reese. Now this, I feel like, is the most me piece that could ever exist. It is a very, very light pink dress. It's a beautiful length. It comes to just above the knees, so it's not too short, not too long gorgeous gorgeous pleated material super soft lightweight material and then the sleeves are fluted so just many many design details that I absolutely adore beautiful lightweight fabric so great for this time of year if you want to look a little bit more smart for days at meetings things like that then this is just absolutely dreamy. I have been styling it most recently with my beautiful Mulberry Seaton bag which I would say is another favourite this month. This bag is such a lovely size, I really like holding it by its handle, I think it looks so so chic. It also does have a shoulder strap which I don't use quite so much but this bag just fits all of my essentials inside and more and I think this colour combination together is absolutely perfect. On those slightly chillier spring days I have been wearing this coat. This is my faux leather coat from Topshop and and it was very affordable for such a well-made and well-structured piece of outerwear. I think this could so easily be a super expensive designer piece. It certainly gives your outfit a very luxurious finish if you wear it again with a crossbody bag or a little handheld bag like the Mulberry Seaton. It's just absolutely beautiful. I like to wear this either over my shoulders or as a normal coat. It also comes with a waist belt, which to be honest, I haven't been wearing quite so much, but it's just a perfect coat in a light color, so great for a summer and spring wardrobe, but does keep you warm on those chillier spring mornings and this has been my go-to coat for the last month I would say and it is under £100 so highly highly recommend this one as well. I have been wearing a lot of culottes and light coloured trousers recently. I feel like they just work for going to work, going to meetings, going to events and they're really good for being smart and casual at the same time. Kind of like a midi skirt which I still absolutely love my midi skirts but a couple of pairs of light coloured trousers I've been wearing lately. Sorry about the noise in the background. Dickens is making his bed under the chair and he's been doing it for the last 10 minutes minutes. This pair of trousers is from Dickie is from ASOS. They were super super affordable and I just absolutely adore them. Really lovely lightweight material. <laughs> Can you hear that? Dickie. They have got this beautiful pleated detail across the front so they fit the body really beautifully around the waist and around the hips. The perfect height as well. They finish just above the ankles so perfect for showcasing your shoes. And this kind of trouser can be paired with loads of different tops throughout the summer. Either a plain white t-shirt. In fact I styled these with this beautiful silk cami top from Reese in my spring everyday outfits video. Thank you very much for all your lovely comments on that. So this has been a bit of a dream combination lately. If you want a little bit more fabric on your body this is something that 
that I only just got from ASOS but again this would be a really really beautiful combination a little bit more free-flowing and boho style or you could wear them with something a lot more patterned you guys may remember this top very Zimmerman-esque top from my Zara haul but the point I'm trying to make is that light colored culottes and um, lightweight trousers are just very very versatile I also wanted to include in my favorites my River Island ones with the lace around the bottom but they are currently in the wash so I'll insert a video clip of me wearing them here I've been wearing these so much this month but um, it was at the Chelsea flower show that I wore them actually I think with this top that I just thought they are so so beautiful and so many people came up and asked me about them I think being at the Chelsea flower show everyone was just attracted to anything floral anything pretty and they were such a hit I had just so many questions and people even taking photos of them to like show their daughters so yes they were a huge hit this month and I'll be wearing them throughout the summer no doubt I am a huge huge fan of broderie anglais so the collection in Zara at the moment has got me absolutely smitten if you didn't catch my Zara haul then I'll leave it linked up on the screen and also down below you definitely need to check that out if you have a similar style to me because Zara right now is absolutely a dream. I picked up this beautiful skirt. It is a broderie anglaise skirt with this gorgeous, uh, I would say this comes up to just below the knees, so very very elegant and feminine length. I love the bottom of this, a scalloped bottom and you can see through the little daisy broderie anglaise material there, just so so pretty. My favourite way to style this skirt has been with this beautiful silk top from Reese. There's a bit of a running theme, I just love these kind of basic pieces from Reese. Every spring summer I invest in a couple so you've seen this one and my cami as well. These are like my wardrobe basics, they just go with so many different things. I think that it makes putting an outfit together so much easier if you have a few really good quality pieces like this in your wardrobe. Sorry that this has got a little bit of makeup mark on it. I am actually just about to put this in the wash. Wasn't actually planning on including this in my favourites but actually it most definitely deserves a place because it's so gorgeous. Beautiful light pink silk, it's got this pleated detail down the back. Gorgeous neckline, I love that it's got this double layer of fabric here and it really helps to frame any pretty necklaces you might have on that day. I also find the colour super super tan enhancing. These two pieces together has just been the perfect spring everyday outfit. I've already mentioned my Mulberry Seaton so I'm just going to finish with a couple more accessories. Can't remember if I included these in last month's favourites. If I did I'm sorry but I'm still obsessed with them. These are my beautiful little Tory Burch sandals. I have been wearing these so much more because I finally find them comfortable. When I first got them I found them a little bit sore to walk in. I don't wear them on days and I know I'm going to be doing a lot of walking but they are the perfect finishing touch to my culottes with jeans with midi skirts I just absolutely adore them beautiful design with the pearls on the top as well very very pretty and then the shoes that I actually wanted to finish on are my Valentino Rockstead sandals which I have been wearing absolutely loads this month however because I wore them for pretty much 48 hours straight in Cannes when I went to Cannes with Nespresso for the film festival this month the sole of them or the bit that the foot touches as opposed to that the ground touches has become um, a little bit like crinkled so I've actually sent them back to Valentino to be repaired so I thought I would just give these a shout out firstly to remind me to mention the original Valentinos which I will insert a clip of here so you know the ones I'm talking about. If you like to invest in footwear, I would highly recommend this pair of shoes. So comfortable, they look beautiful and they work with so many things. But if that's not your budget, I have also been wearing my misguided dupes. Ever since I took my Valentinos to be repaired, I have been having a Valentino sandal shaped hole missing in my wardrobe. So I've been reaching for these a lot ever since and they are great quality. They look beautiful, almost as beautiful as the Valentinos. And again, really comfy and a great heel height for wearing all day long. So that's everything that I have been loving throughout the month of May. I hope you enjoyed looking through these pieces with me. If you want to see how I've been doing my actual like hair styling and my makeup lately, I've been doing a lot more tutorials on my Instagram stories so make sure you're following my Instagram which is Josie LDN. I'll leave it on the screen and make sure you're following that if you want to see how I've been doing it and also if you want to shop the outfits that I'm wearing on a daily basis, the outfits that I'm putting on Instagram, and so many more, make sure you're following me on the Like to Know It app. There'll be a link to that down below. I post all of my photos there. I'll show you a little preview on the screen here of how it works. Every photo I put on Instagram and loads of others are on the Like to Know It app with shoppable outfit details down below. So give me a follow there if you want to see what I'm wearing and how I'm styling my pieces every single day. So that's all from me, darlings. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're having a fabulous day so far. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you still like these 
monthly favourites roundup type videos and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment letting me know what one beauty product and what fashion product you have most loved this month because I would love to know and I will see you soon in my next one. Bye!